Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, coyotes. On today's episode, learn more about what it takes to be a coyote leader, the results from our powerlifting competition, and the results from the academic UIL tournament, as well as other inf important announcements that you will need to know. I'm Rosa Mahmood. And I'm Kaya Lee. And, and Coyote, Coyote Nation TV, TV Live starts now. now. Happy Wednesday, Coyotes. We are officially halfway through the week. And I hope yesterday wasn't too bad for all my single ladies. I agree. So, you know what my favorite part of Valentine's Day was? What? Eating a bunch of sugar with all of my friends. Okay, well, I bought a lot of candy for myself. Nice. And how was that? It, it tasted like candy, but, you know, um, that's what I do. I lead and myself <laughs> follows, if you know what I'm saying. I do, yes. That's an interesting way of putting it. But speaking of leaders, our CNTV's Rihanna Flores has more on what it takes to be a coyote leader. I think a coyote leader is someone that, you know, really exhibits the stuff that Heritage cares about. You know, the values that we share as coyotes, um, grit, and all of that, just kind of, you know, being someone that would make Mr. Mims proud. Coyote leader would be, uh, athletic-wise, a captain of a team. Um, Classroom-wise, someone who's paying attention, getting their work done on time, getting good grades. A coyote leader would be someone who is positive, someone who is willing to help others, and someone who definitely goes out of their way to make a difference at the school somebody that can kind of be able to take everything on at once and be able to relate to everybody and work with everybody regardless of differences. Um, well obviously you want to show class and you want to be respectful and to be a coyote leader if you, as long as you make a difference in your community and you do something good with the abilities that you have and that would make it I would, I guess, define you as a coyote leader. By helping the custodians in the lunchroom and like helping others when nobody's looking, like helping your fellow coyotes, whatever they're in need. Well, Rosa, I think Brianna created a really good story. I really agree. I liked hearing what some people had to say about what they think it takes to be a coyote leader. Yeah. And coyotes, if you have a coyote leader in mind, use this QR code around the school to nominate them. Please be sure to nominate people who have some of the characteristics described in the video. Well, without further ado, let's get into the announcements. Our boys and girls powerlifting teams competed at Reedy on February 2nd and the girls placed third. They also competed on February 9th. Payne Davidson won first and lifted 535 pounds. Mackenzie Brown won fifth and lifted 525 pounds. Nari Sherman placed second and lifted 705 pounds. And Nancy Youssef placed second and lifted 810 pounds. Tucker Rowland won second place and lifted 1,380 pounds. Emma Dang won fourth and lifted 675 pounds. 
Matt Reed also won fourth and lifted 765 pounds. Last Saturday, our school competed in the academic UIL tournament. The current events team won third place. The people from the winning team were Scott Booth, Rika Liagas, and Vashna V. Malva. Many of the other winners include Vinish Valiani, who placed first in biology, Jalen Jolly, who placed fifth in Congress, and Maddie Padilla, who placed seventh in biology. Please remember to congratulate all of the people in academic UIL. Freshmen will continue to sign up for their classes today through social studies. Also, the GO Center will be open tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. to help with college preparedness. Please stop by B118 tomorrow if you've signed up for the GO Center. Book Club will be meeting this Friday at 8 a.m. in room A112. They will be discussing the book, All the Truth That's in Me by Julie Berry. And of course, Mrs. Vincent has extra copies if you're interested, and all are welcome. The mandatory drill team tryout and parent meeting is next Tuesday, February 21st at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. If you and your parents do not show up at the meeting, you will not be able to participate in tryouts. And please remember that February 23rd is the last day to pick up a National Honor Society application in room B114. If you are not able to attend the cheer tryout meeting on Thursday night and would still like to try out for a cheerleader or a mascot, please talk to Coach C in C107 or Coach Huffines in C123 about the information you missed. The deadline for paperwork is February 23rd. Sage John New and Brittany Ding's artwork will continue to be showcased at the library before and after school on February 28th until February 28th. The National Art Honor Society will not have any meetings in February. Please check your school email for the code to join the NHS class in Google Classroom. If you didn't receive the email code, please see Ms. Funk. Well, those are all the announcements that we have for you today, Coyotes. Please be sure to check us out on packpage.org for more information. And of course, follow us on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV for more updates. I'm Kyle Lee. And I'm Rosa Mahmood. And, and you, you stay classy, Coyotes. coyotes.